Hey y'all, this is going to be a quick tutorial on using MapRika to locate maps on their server, download and install them, and then use them on your phone with your GPS. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and get MapRika opened. And when you open it, it's going to come up to the last map that you had active. Now, you see the little blue arrowhead thing bouncing around about the middle of the screen? That is my current location. I'm in Ama, Louisiana. And I'm actually at the end of a road that isn't indicated on this map. Because it wasn't here in 1935. So what we'll do to find a map is we'll tap on the name of the map that's open at the top of the screen. We'll select all maps and we'll tap that. It's going to go through an update to see if there's been any new maps uploaded since the last time it was active. Just takes a few seconds and there we go. So now we'll want to go ahead and tap on on map and we're going to tap the magnifying glass to get into the search screen and we'll type in a keyword. Now, we're looking for one of my maps, so the keyword is going to be Robbie 4570. I always use R-O-B-B-Y 4570 as my keyword. So there we go. We got Robbie 4570 keyed in. I'm going to tell it to search. And it's going to come up with a big map that shows all the maps in the world that I've got active. Now, I'm working on a set in Stillwater, Oklahoma. So I'm going to zoom in on Stillwater right now and show you that one. And there you see Stillwater and it's got a Maprika map pin on top of it. So we'll tap that map pin and it actually says there's multiple maps available in Stillwater. So we'll go ahead and we'll tap that box. That'll bring up all of the maps that are available currently in Stillwater. So you can tap on them and see which ones they are and see if you want to go ahead and download them. But I want to download the index first. You don't have to, but that's just the way I want to do it. So we tapped on the map pin. It brought up the box for that particular map. We're going to tap in the box, and it says it wants to install. You'll notice that the size of the file is only 0.41 megabytes. So they're tiny files that they download. The file size will vary from map to map, but don't worry, it's not going to fill your phone up unless you download hundreds of them. So tap Install. And here it comes downloading right now. And there, it's downloaded and installed. So to view it, we'd tap View. If you didn't want to have it on your phone anymore, you'd uninstall it by tapping Uninstall. And if there's a problem with it and you want to report it, then you can click on the Report a Problem. So we're going to tap View Map. And there it brings up the whole map for that sector of the city. You'll notice that there are colored blocks. Each colored block has a number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Each one corresponds to a sheet that's uploaded for those other map pins, and that's why you'll have to look at which one's which. You notice that I had number 6 pulled up when I first went in here to find the index. So if you had your GPS turned on, and you were standing in this area of these blocks, your GPS would indicate where you're at. Say you're in the green area, then you'd be in number four. So what we want to do is we want to look for map number four. So we're going to tap on it again, and we're going to do the all maps again. And then we're going to do the search icon. Robbie 4570 and search. So back to Stillwater.
and we want map number four, which is this one right here. So we'd tap on that, install. You see that one's only a 0.51 megabyte. There it goes, it's installing. And we'll click view. So before when you were looking at the green and yellow and orange blocks, now you're actually looking at a street map from 1895 showing the location of buildings that were there in 1895. You would have that pointer like I showed you on the first map I pulled up when I opened the app. And it would show you where you are somewhere on this map. So you could use that if you had an empty field in front of you to look and see if there was a building on there in 1895. That's the beauty of this app is that it lets you use old maps and see where buildings were while using the GPS on your phone. So that's it guys, y'all have a great day.